Hi everyone, welcome to Beth's Best Hair. I just wanted to pop on real quick tonight and show you guys how I maintain or how I restore my heat friendly fibers. All right, so this is Nola. She is in Sunkissed Rooted and she is a VersaFiber heat friendly wig from Paula Young. I have worn her just tons and tons and tons of time. It still looks good here. It's been in a bag, in a bin, in storage, so it's got a little funky kind of curve there, but you can see the ends here <gasps> are basically kind of like, like you have split ends, right? So I'm just going to show you how we can either restore that um, or how you would maintain your um, VersaFiber and or heat safe any HD um, fiber. They're obviously they're going to be more finicky because they you have to remember this is a synthetic fiber that has been processed and treated way more heavily than non-heat safe synthetics. So while they look beautiful when they come out of the box and they're soft and they're not too shiny, they really don't last very long without getting a little rough on the areas that get rubbed where there's friction. So with NOLA being longer, those ends right down here really get a little bit frazzled. So the first thing that I do is I brush it out. Now, if you have used product on your wigs, you're gonna wanna make sure that your wigs are clean before you apply heat. So just give them a cold soak in the sink with your wig shampoo, rinse, give them another soak in wig conditioner for about 10 minutes, rinse, roll it up in a towel, and then hang it up to dry either outside or in your shower on a hanger upside down. When it's dry overnight, then you can comb it out and then you can start your heat treating. I would suggest to treat your fibers as soon as they start to feel a little bit frizzy and just treat the sections that you need to. Don't worry about the areas that are smooth. You don't need to give them more heat and mess with them until you actually need to. So all I did is I just brushed her out because like I said, she's been in storage and now I'm going to do my heat treating. So I'm gonna twist my hair up halfway I call it my hair because it is my hair. I paid for it, right? <laughs> okay, we're gonna get going. So, I'm gonna start on these ends. So my specific hot air brush is from Walmart. You guys have seen me use this. You've heard me talk about it. It just has these little buttons. So I can just either use this, I can add this. I also have the round brush and I also have a curling wand with it. I don't use it all the way up. I use it on the very last one just before all the way. One more. Nope. One, two, three. Right there. That's what I use it on. Now, I am going to link my brush down below, so be sure to expand that description box. This is from Walmart. I believe it's around $38, $39, and I love it, and I can't say enough good things about it. All right, so because this is an HG wig and heat-friendly fibers, I'm not spraying water on this. I am just using the heat on this. Now, if you want to use your hot air brush on a non-heat-friendly synthetic, then you would want to spritz it with water, and then it would act as a steam but we don't have to do that with this. So let's go ahead and get started on these ends. So I'm just kind of keeping the motion going and it's right where I feel these ends. And the goal is for it to be smooth and shiny when I'm done so that I can run my fingers through it. I 
then I just go and work in small sections and keep it moving. This is hot. It gets hot. Keep it moving. Already, I can already feel that it's getting better. But I still have a few tangles in here. So I'm going to keep on until I can actually run my fingers through it. Essentially, we're, we're melting the fibers smooth. And I do like the flat brush for this, for the ends, but if I would try to curl it with the flat brush, I will get a kink. I'm going to show you. If I would go like this and leave it, it's going to make kind of a kink. I don't know if you can see that. So I don't want to do that. That's why I want to just kind of keep this one moving. You know, and this might be easier on your cork wig head. I just, it's really hard for me to film on a cork head. All right, look at that. Look at how smooth and shiny that is looking. Like new. Just about there. Just about. All right, let's stop and assess what we've done. So, yes, look at that. So we've definitely helped those fibers and I'm gonna show you up close. I think it's much better. Now I'm gonna go ahead and try my round attachment just so I can kind of get a little bit of a shape back in this because I essentially I've just straightened it, right? So now I need I just want to get the shape back in it. So same thing, not all the way, just on that one below. There's no heat gauge on this, but that's okay. You know, I've played with it so I know what, what I need to do. So basically, the same principle, except with the round brush, you can turn it. So I'm just kind of turning it in now. Also, remember, our wigs, our wigs, the style will set when it cools. So you can get your heat going on this and then let it stop and let it just sit like this for a little bit until it cools. And then we'll see if we've kind of given this a little uh, curl under. So you can see it's going back into that style. And you can kind of keep playing with that as you need to. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to this side. So I'm just using that static control wig brush. I'm gonna go back to the flat one.
there we go. That simple. So we are a little bit finicky here with our HG fibers, our Versa fibers, all of our heat friendly fibers. They're going to require a little bit more maintenance. Now they're gorgeous. They look more natural, but just, I just want you to know that they're going to feel a little bit crispy anywhere where they are rubbing, anywhere where there might be friction. Um, for the most part, your top is going to stay nice. It's just going to be the areas that are rubbing. I love them. It doesn't deter me from purchasing them. I just know that I'm going to have to do a little bit extra. And then I also want you to know that before you store your wigs, don't make the mistake that I have made. I have stored my wigs without washing them first, where I have applied product, you know, even dry shampoo. You're going to take it out and it's just going to be one big chunk of kind of stuck together plastic. <laughs> so um, I will try to do a video of restoring those. I do have a number of those you guys because I haven't followed my own cardinal rule wash your wigs first before you store them so I'll do a future video on that where I wash it and where I condition it and on those I probably am gonna have to pull out my steamer I know a steamer is intimidating so that's why I wanted to show you guys this I love it it's such a handy tool even if you didn't, you just squeeze the sides. And if you just want to use this, let's say that you have a lace and you want to direct some of the hair up and over, just be careful. You know, you don't, I don't think you'd burn your lace, but you always need to be careful. I'm just looking at how cute Nola is. <laughs> All right, Nola's going to work tomorrow. <laughs> All right, thanks again everyone for watching. I hope this short little video was helpful for you on how to care for your heat-friendly synthetic fiber wigs. If you are new here, please consider subscribing and press that bell down below so you're alerted when I upload new videos. Now don't forget, on my hot air tool, just expand that description box and click that link that will take you over to Walmart and then you can pick up this hot air brush. It's very budget friendly and I think that you guys will really like it. It is a versatile tool and I love it. All right, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.